hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video we will recover the topic of how can make traffic signal program in fatec plc and show on mintic hmi but before start this video please like share and subscribe my channel this way you will be never miss my upcoming videos so let's get started first of all we will create the program in our plc and we will create a new project and here we can write the project name traffic signal and click on edit and here is a i'm using fps model 40 points and ma series and click it okay and click it again okay first of all we will make it some latch and latch system already uh, explained in previous lectures but now again i will explain to you for an example our external input or internal memory input we can use any for example m100 i will choose for on condition and we will make it one output for example m1 i will make it on and one close contact we will use for example m150 i will choose to close and here we will take it one latch system m1 and click it ok and make it the vertical line and now latch system is our completed when we push the m100 after m1 will be latched and in second row we will take one timer we will take one timer but this timer we will not use this this uh, this timer we have to be use accumulate timer here you can find in the timer counter operation and go little scroll down after you will be found here cumulate timer this one one second we will choose and click it ok and here we have to be give the address of our timer for example i will the get address give d0 where is my time will be running and d1 will be choose for my set point and this timer needs two enabling points one is for example m10 i will give and here another input we will give for this m1 like to be start this timer m1 and this line we will be completed to this one and here we will make it one output on on for example m1 is my first we will go into the serial m2 i will choose my output and here one more i will take m3 for example m3 example and this will be when on this will m3 when we as make it on the signal after our m3 will be on and when time will be completed after m2 will be on this will be off and this will be on and for example in between this running timer if we push this m10 after our time will be stop and after it we will give the signal after this will be st continue from this stop point already in previous lectures i explained about this cumulative timer how works if you don't know go to my this video after you can better understand and in next row we will take one another timer or first we will make for this one m1 this is our close point for example because of when we make it on after m3 will be continuously on and here we will take from the m3 of the signal and we will make it to our first output on for example y0 we will start from y0 
after our y0 will be on and in next in next row we will make one next uh, timer for example this is the for the red if we like to give the signal it here this complete first first this one M2 I will make and we will make it one next timer also same and we will give the address to change D2 for example change because of D0 already we used and D1 also used so we will, we will choose this the another data register D2 and D3 for example and click it ok and one line also we will make it here to for the M for the M2 for example M2 and make it this line completed and here we will take this second output for example M4 and M4 and M5 we will use this second our our this one is for example red indication and this is our for example yellow indication and here yellow indication after starts with M4 No, sorry m5 m5 when it's on because of the on condition m5 continuously m5 we will make here and here we will make this one output y0 this we will choose y1 and here in next row we have to be choose one more timer for this green signal of this M4 of the open contact we will choose M4 and we will take one more timer and this address we will give D4 and D5 and click it ok and here also one more we will take it input for M4 and this row we will be make it completed and here output we will choose for M5 and M6 and M7 we will do choose M6 and here second we will choose M7 right and here we will choose of the M7 of the open contact here we will make M7 of the open contact and we will make make it Y2 Y2 will be our green indication ok now our complete this y0 is our red indication and y1 will be our yellow indication and y2 will be our green indication and for this process complete after we will write the program look like when our process this green light will be completed after we have to be go back to the first indication again again red m6 of our this timer of the M6 when this is completed his time M7 will be energized this Y2 and M6 will be after make it the reset and this we will what we choose we will be stop our complete process and this push button we have to be make it reset because of all process when complete after need to be again process start so this M50 we will take it here here we will take this one relay M150 and click it ok 
and here what we make the some interlocks we will make this y2 when make it on after our y0 this close contact we will choose it here y0 and after y2 when stop y1 sorry y1 when stopped again we will make this one what minute y1 not y2 y1 because of when y0 and y1 is on this don't run means and when our y1 is run we have to be make interlock with y0 y0 of the interlock we will put for this y1 and when y0 is on after this other y1 is the y1 is the interlock of the our y0 because of when y0 is on no need to run this one y1 and when y1 is on y0 also need to be close and this y2 also need to be close and after this part we will put in the plc and we will check make it online auto check and click it ok and our program is downloading to our plc and we have to be give the time at this data registers d1 d3 and d5 because of this is our execution time how much time for we like to be run this y0 y1 and y3 y2 sorry so make it first online run plc and we will first check it here our program is run or not run if you have any mistake we can now clear after we will go to the HMI. When I will make it my M100 on but first I have to be give already have D3, 3, 3, this is 3, 3 seconds time. Now M10 we have to be make it on for example. Our time is now started and see our Y0 is on again. Now our Y1 is on and now our Y2 is on. And after Y2 when close after Y0 will be again on. So okay now y0 on now y1 is now on and now y2 is on and when process is complete after this is y2 will be stopped again any process the repeat now our program is successfully running and now we go to the make the program in HMI this previous lecture already we will delete this all data and delete and we will make the new program for an example, we will take this is the lights first. This is PLC not be selected. First we have to be select the PLC. This is the word lamp. No, this one we have to be use this one. And this is we have to be 0, Y0. Y0 is our first relay. And shape we will choose it here go to the picture library and you can choose any we will near near color the choose red color where is where is the red color yeah this is our red color this is already in the project selected huh? This is red color, close, why not, why 
here this is red color remove from project and add to project and close now this is selected when it's on this condition when it's off this condition okay this is we will choosing our first input at the zero condition it will be same and the on condition this will be same and click it okay and we will make it for example here this is our first relay okay and here second we will choose we can make it control C and control V control V and we will make it this one 3 and here we will make this green we will change the colors only just this is red ok and this is we have to be make it green for example go to the picture library and use this one and click it ok no not green sorry this we need the yellow right plus ok need this we will make it yellow after we will change this shape no problem go to this library and where is the yellow color yellow color I think so this have a little yellow color yeah this is yellow click it ok and after we have to be give address also go to the general and this is our y2 is our y1 is yellow y1 is yellow and this only just we will change this area no problem and our green we will put it here right and this address y1 and this is our y0 is our red color it's okay and this is our y2 this address we have to give the y2 and here if you like to give the comments also you can give go to this right here you can make it stop you have to stop this is stop and control c and control v control v this is the storm and this is and this is make it ready ready and this is for go and here we will choose some data registers where we like to set the value of our set the value of our timers how much time we like to be set this is the first is our d0 and here we will make this one against in this one control c and we will make it control v control v and this is the for this time and this is for this time okay this is after you can align with better this is d0 and our which which our data registers first data register we have to be choose for d1 d1 is our set point d1 d3 and d5 d1 d3 and d5 this is d1 d1 and this will have to be d3 and this will be o d5 and click it ok and here we will make it also on and off and close the system this is our set bit simple for example and here we will make it for m100 we will make i think so we have to be cross check this one m100 m 150 m100 
m hundred set on make it here m hundred control c make it control v control v v because of i am using this set and if we are using the external inputs for example x0 well making the physical panel after you can use this all buttons with the external points align after you can better align this is our m100 is set on and this will we will be make set off m100 and this is we will take the address for m150 150 set on and this is 150 we will make it set off 100 150 and make it enter and this also if you like to give the label you can make it the use label and inside you can write make it on and this you can make it use the label and here click it on use label off and click it ok and this is also you can use the label here and make it on click it ok and this is also you can make this one label and use label and click it off and this we will download project we will download to the HMI I will make it on my HMI and download to the HMI HMI name search and click it automatically download and again download it will take some time with patience one thing we will see not write the text after you can organize your HMI screen as it's possible here you can write the program for example make it go home then you can write the Traffic SAG and health signals UNT or control. Click it OK and we can make it here. Okay, now this we will again need to be download, again make it download. Reboot HMI, wait for a second and all finished after you can make it exit. I will remove the PLC cable and I will put my HMI cable because I am using the RS232 port and I will open my VNC viewer. Oh, not this one, sorry. We have to open VNC viewer, this one. And here, double click and continue and give the password. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and click it OK and now our HMI is online make it a little bigger you can make it this little bigger ok now and you can see our bits are running very nice and this time you like to be changed this time for example this time you will change like to 5 seconds put here 5 seconds for stop and 3 seconds for delay and after 5 seconds for the run condition if you like to be change this time for for example this I need for more time for 
10 seconds change the time it here 10 seconds and now it will wait for 10 seconds and after it will be go back to the red and wait for the 5 seconds after this will be yellow indication to ready this is for 3 seconds this will decrease the time like to be 2 seconds go to the 2 seconds and if here also you like to be reduced the 10, 3 seconds you can make the 3 seconds now see this is the now this is going to the fast and wait for 10 seconds green signal and after 3 seconds for red signal see and if you like to increase this one this you like to be make for 10 signals of the stop time and this you need to be 5 seconds you can make it the 5 seconds see now this is time is now increased this is for 10 seconds this is for 2 seconds and this is for 5 seconds and if you like to stop the system you could be click it off after your system will be stop see now this will be stop and when you start this one click it on your system will be start Okay, because of this also we can organize in one button just two two buttons no need we will make it if you using this physical PLC for example I will show you now here this is M100 we will make this is and 150 this is two two buttons we will make this for for this M150 and uh, you can use when X0 and X1 just only this is X0 and X1 after you can use for this make it on on condition and I hope this guys you will be understand about this traffic signal program if not understand anything you can send me message in comment section I will give you feedback as soon as possible so thanks for watching Allah Hafiz